Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this fatal error or low level fatal error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run Steam or Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So if you if you have the game on Steam, you can go to Steam, click on Steam and then click on Exit. Now if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can just make a right click on Epic Games Launcher icon over here and then click on Exit. And once it is closed, if you have the game on Steam, you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on Run as Administrator. Make sure that you run Steam as an administrator. Similarly, if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can make a right click on Epic Games Launcher and then click on Run as Administrator and then launch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD users, first of all, uninstall the current version of AMD graphic card driver and then restart your computer. After the uninstall, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest AMD graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings. Now click on add desktop app and go to the game installation folder. So if you have the game installed uh, from Steam, uh, you can go to this location and then you will find the, the game folder over here. In my case, I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on Epic Games Launcher. So Epic Games Launcher user can go to program files and then open Epic Games and then open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added, now click on the game and then over here you can see GPU preference. Now set it to high performance over here. Again, scroll up and then go to add desktop app and then open this folder binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on add. Again, once the game is added, you can click on the game and then um, Again, for GPU preference, select high performance and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to set date time zone to automatic. So open Windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. If not on, turn it on. Also make sure set time automatically is on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. So click on sync now. If you receive any error, just click on sync now once again and then you can check. Next step is to manually set the time back to a day before. So you can go to date and time once again and turn off set time automatically, turn it off. And once you turn it off, you will see the change option over here. You, now over here, the date is third. So I will set it to second, a day before and then hit on this tick icon and then click on change and now you can launch the game and then check once the game is up and running once the the game is on menu screen now you can turn it on you can turn on set time automatically and then check next step is to add the game exe file all the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow, allow the game exe file, all the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, 
go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browser apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder game folder select all the game exe file again click on add and load app browser apps select this exe file click on open again click on add and load app browser apps and then open this hll folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on add and load app click on browser apps and then go back and then open the easy anti cheat folder select this exe file click on open do the same thing in control panel so type in control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse in my case i have already added so if not added um, select all the exe file again over here open add i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this exe file click on open then click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then go back and then open easy anti cheat folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add once everything is added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now if you have the game on steam you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab you will see installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files so for example i'm showing with different game go to properties install files and then click on verify the game files and once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game if you have the game on epic games launcher click on this three dot and then click on manage and then you will see the verify option click on verify after the verification launch the game next step is to close razor software so if you have any kind of razor software running close it if you have voice meter uh, running you can close it or you can even disable it in device manager now next step is to go to the game installation folder and launch um, go to this location and delete this pa ks folder and then verify the game files now for this you can go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game for steam user program file 686 and then open the steam folder steam apps folder open the common folder you will see the game folder open the game folder in my case i have the game on epic games launcher so you can open program files epic games open the game folder open hll folder open content folder now over here you can see paks folder you can make a right click and you can delete if you want to create a backup you can just copy the content copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup you can make a right click and you can delete it once this is deleted now you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game and then go to properties go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files let the verification complete if you have the game on epic games launcher click on these three dots and then click on manage and then click on verify after the verification launch the game next step is to type in percentage local app data percentage in the run box paste it over here click on ok and delete all the hll folder so here you can see hll make a right click and then delete this folder once it is deleted now you can launch the game next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one and then run this command so paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key now run the third command now copy this fourth command and then paste it over here hit the enter key now run this last command hit the enter key and then restart your computer just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to 
run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, uh, make a right click on the game, manage, and then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, click on three dots, manage, and then you can click on this folder icon, and this will take you to the game installation folder. Just make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator from here. If that does not work, you can even try this file, exe file, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. If that does not work, open HLL folder, binaries, win64, and then make a right click on this exe file and then click on run as administrator. Still not working, then make a right click and then go to properties and then go to this tab, put a check over here and then hit apply click on OK, launch the game and then check if that does not work, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. You can do the same thing with the first exe file. If that does not work, you can even try the same thing with this exe file. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Just if it's not working, uncheck this, these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update in security, and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart can be run. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. This is important. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. Now for Steam users, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check. So close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, then go to properties once again. This time type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually one GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576. And maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte, now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is 49152, 49152, 49152. Now click on set over here. 
then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download this x86 and next 64 version. So download this x86. Click on it. Click on it, and then you can run this exe file. And download this file as well, x64. And once the download is complete, run both the exe file, install it. After the installation, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it, which you're not using. Also disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, Close it. Also disable Steam overlay. So for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then over here, I don't have the game on Steam, so I'll show you a different game. Make a right click on the game, select properties, and turn off this option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then check. Also, if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, and then scroll down, and then go to game overlay. Now, over here, if you have this, uh, in-game overlay uh, on you can turn it off and then check you can if that does not work you can even close discord quit discord and then check also if you're using like geforce experience overlay you can close geforce nvidia geforce experience so you can or simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, you can close it and then check. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then hit apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to update system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So whichever computer you're using, go to system manufacturer website, select your model number and then find the latest BIOS update and then install it. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uh, you can just make a right click on the game and then select manage. Click on uninstall. Over here, you will see the uninstall option. In uh, Epic Games Launcher, you can just click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive like if the game is installed to external drive d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel